just enough. For a lot of you cats who listen to the Rise and Grind, a lot of you young brothers, I know I get a lot of emails and a lot of letters from you cats. And I know you're going through it, homie. I can read it in your emails. So this Just Enough podcast is to give you some perspective on, on what you're taking on and what you're go- actually going through. Because for the majority of your life so far, homie, everything you did was just enough for you not to make it. You know what I'm saying? Just enough for you not to get ahead. Just enough for you not to get a new car. Just enough for you not to get a good job. Just enough for you not to, you know, enjoy your life. Just enough money not to be able to go into places you want. You know what I'm saying? Your whole life so far, you've been dealing with being pretty much a have-not in this game. You know what I'm saying? Everything you do, you have just enough crap on the back of you. You got just enough haters walking next to you. You know what I'm saying? Everything you do is just enough for you not to enjoy your life. But in this whole game, when we're talking about money, when we're talking about building, you got to understand what each, each contribution to the game builds, and you don't see it yet. You're in the middle of going through school and you're saying, I don't know how I'm going to make money. You're in the middle of thinking about how to start a business and you hesitate to jump into the game. You know what I'm saying? You keep thinking from a perspective that you don't know if you're going to make it. And when I was coming up and when I was starting out, homie, I had the exact same feeling. I don't want you ever to think that I was sitting here some confident dude coming out of Compton like I knew what the hell I was doing. I didn't know what the hell I was doing either. But all I had was just enough heart for me to keep trying. And in this game, homie, all the things you think you don't have, all the things that you have just enough not to make it, are going to turn into the things that are just enough for you to make it. You know what I'm saying? In this game, a lot of people believe that you have to have this money or you have to have this kind of insight or you got to be born with it. But realistically, the key part of this money thing is enough heart to try it. You have just enough heart. You know what I'm saying? So when I was going through all my bad times, and there's too many, and I'm talking about bad times, I'm talking about maybe 10 years, 12 years of trying, homie. It's a long-ass journey, homie. And in the middle of that, every time I woke up every morning, I just had to calm down and think to myself that I'm going to get today's work done, that I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do today. I'm not going to worry about where I end up. I'm just going to do what I'm supposed to do today. You know what I'm saying? Did I have just enough energy to get up and keep trying? Did I have just enough energy to get up and go take that class and have just enough energy to go across town to look at what's, what's going down, how they making money, and to think, keep it and think about it. Did I have just enough heart or conversation to walk up to the business owner and ask him, can he explain to me how the whole business works? You know what I'm saying? Can I have just enough humility to stay humble in this game and to always ask from a, pers- from a position of trying to understand, not from a position of trying to take over? You know what I'm saying? All the things you do right now in preparation for your empire is going to be just enough information and just enough for you to cross over. Now that tipping point, homie, when when all that you've learned turned into all that you will become, I can't tell you when that day is going to come. For me, it took about 12 years. You know what I'm saying? It took me a long time. And during that time, I wasn't the happiest of campers. If you would have heard a, if I would have heard a podcast like this telling me that all that I'm doing is going to turn into all that I become, I would have told him bullshit. He doesn't know exactly what I'm going through. He doesn't know how hard it is to wake up every morning and to go through something, you know what I'm saying, or to deal with something in hopes that it's going to turn into something later. He doesn't know how what my life is like, how hard it was for me to come up. He doesn't know that I'm sitting here with not a lot of money in my pocket trying to make sure I don't go, uh, you know, hungry or starving or head into poverty. He doesn't know that every day I'm still a man. I got to deal with the shit that most young men deal with growing up without a dad or any other situation where I don't have no guidance into this game. You know what I'm saying? I would have sat back, listened to this podcast and threw my hands up saying this motherfucker's full of shit. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't know exactly where I'm coming from. But realistically, homie, I, I, I've lived it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to make it look like I'm, uh, you know, the richest man in this game, but I've lived every part of this game from from what a teenager would do to what a young man would do to what a man would do. And now I do what other men refuse to do. And that's the tipping point, homie. See, when you do just enough for the rest of your life right now, just enough is because you're in survival mode. You've been surviving and doing what other people, you know what I'm saying, just a little bit better than most people. When they didn't take a chance, you took a chance. When they dropped out of school, you stayed, you stayed in school. When they failed and said, this is all I'm going to become, you re-upped and went back in again. 
and you keep seeing all these small steps that you're taking and you keep thinking it's not enough. You think it's just enough for you to barely make it. Somebody give you a raise and it's just, you know, a quarter or 50 cent or you find a job that pays a dollar more. You thinking that's just enough for me not to be able to do anything with. You know what I'm saying? You want to sit out here and you see that everybody's balling and you see that motherfuckers are making tons of money and then when it's your turn to do it, you stuck behind some dumbass. You're trying to find a way to, to accommodate people you know you're, gonna, you're not going to be around in the future. So you do just enough. And those little steps that you take, that just enough step that you take, is the reason why things are going to take a longer period in your life than you have, than, than is really necessary. See, what I'm talking about is just enough when it comes to the steps you're taking. A lot of you cats won't do the big one. And I'm not talking about the big one meaning opening up the business. I'm talking about the big step to improve your life. You know what I'm saying? Are you going to do just enough for this to take 10 years to get done? Are you going to do just enough? Are you going to save just enough money for you to be rich at 60? Are you going to, you know what I'm saying, start plotting out your business, five, make a five-year plan when it could be a five-month plan? Because in this life, they tell you to do just enough for us to little by little get there. And the only thing we need to have that, that we should be able to deal with with the just enough mentality is, you know what I'm saying, when we can't control certain things, that's when we have to accept that it might be just enough and we're moving forward slowly. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to the things we can control, the things that who we are and how we build, you don't want to have this just enough. You want to start taking bigger steps. You want to start completing things. You want to start doubling and tripling up. A lot of you cats are taking just enough classes just to, you know, just to get by and to get out in two years. But you're not pushing yourself to say, maybe I should take four or five classes, six or seven classes. Maybe I should take some in the summer. I'll give you a good example. When I was in law school, most people accepted that they're going to get out in three years. You know, it's going to be here three years no matter what. I'm the only dude that walked into the damn, to the damn uh, dean's office and the academic people and said, how can I get out of here earlier? And they were like, well, you know, we don't want you to mess up your grades. I said, well, you don't understand. I got to get the hell out of here. It's not about my damn grades. It's about me getting the hell out. I don't know how much patience or I don't know how long I could take being fucking poor and broke and struggling. You know what I'm saying? Before I got to, you know, I do something crazy and just do something just to get the fuck out of here. So I had to do, I had to go out and take a bigger step. So when everybody went home for summer, when everybody broke bread and left for winter, I didn't. You know what I'm saying? When everybody did just enough for them to cruise to the finish line, I was digging, homie. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to get the fuck out of here. I wanted this shit to be over. So I had to make sure I wasn't doing just enough to be a sucker like the rest of these saps in this game. I had to make sure I was doing more than that. See, and in the end, when it, what really happens, young homie, when you get to the end of your journey, when this shit pops, you're going to see that all the little just enough that you did are going to turn into just enough for you to live well. You know, I didn't know all the tough times that I was going through was going to make me tougher than most people. And I, didn't, I don't mean that like I'm out here beating up motherfuckers. I mean that in, in my tenacity and perseverance. I didn't know that, that all these little things that I did to try to make money on the side and all these ways I kept thinking of money made me, you know, more effective than most people. While most people businesses were dying off my, while most people were stuck in where they are, I was a dude who was moving left, right, obtuse angles to this game. I, was, I didn't care how I was making money. I just went over to that other thing. When most people could only see what was in front of them, I saw what was to the side of me. I saw what was in back of me. I saw what was ahead of me. You understand what I'm saying? All these things, all these tough times that I went to just enough to make it were turning me into something that was a lot more effective. To the point now, young homie, where I can sit back and say, I can lose it all. Come sit right next to you, wherever you happen to be. And I guarantee you, I'm out hustle everybody there. You know what I'm saying? Because what happened is the transformation, the tipping point, went from just enough to make it to just enough to live, you know what I'm saying, the way I want to. You know what I'm saying? I had just enough knowledge to not fall anymore. I had just enough knowledge not to, 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 to mess up my own business. I had just enough knowledge to mess up my own relationships. I had just enough knowledge to know when it was time to go. I wasn't that dude anymore sitting next to the dude who strapped pounds of weed on him and came from across country. I wasn't in that situation no more. I wasn't around that shit. So when you hear me say, you know, I'm not drinking or I barely drink or I'm not hanging around all this shit no more because I had just enough of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I had just enough of always putting myself in a situation or, or being in a situation where I, I, I mentally couldn't get out of, where I financially couldn't change my life. 
you know what I'm saying? I didn't know what I know now, and if I could have told myself, I would have said, just stay away from all this shit, just, just hunker down, it's going to be a journey, homie, but you're going you're gonna to do it, you're going to make it. See, a lot of the things in your life where you try things in, earlier in your life, it didn't pan out. So you're going on this journey now and you're doing just enough to, to stay on point. And you keep wondering, you keep looking ahead and thinking, am I going to make it? Is this this dude Freeman telling me the truth? Or is he telling me some old bullshit? You know what I'm saying? But I can tell you right now, homie, I'm not, I'm not a preacher. I ain't the one trying to give you hope and, and tell you that God loves you. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure God does love you, gave you opportunities. But God's not going to be the person to get your ass up in the morning and make you do it. You got to do this for yourself. But when I was younger in this game, man, it used to be dark days. You know what I'm saying? Really dark days, homie. To the point where, you know, I had that grip and fear that I might run out of money or that grip and fear that, uh, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to really be broke. You listening to a dude who was in the middle of college uh, finding a way for me to get food stamps. You know what I'm saying? To make it. So I had to do whatever I had. To. A lot of you cats don't take advantage of all the opportunities you have in front of you because you are poor. These things aren't going so well. You are in a bad place. You are over 21. You independent, homie. You qualify for all this shit. You're not thinking about going down to get it because you feel ashamed of it. But in this game, we have to do just enough to survive until that tipping point comes that we can do just enough to thrive. Now, once we thrive, once we get into the point where we're building stuff, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have to sit back and, and calm down and think about all that the journey has given you. Because little things that you went through are going to pop up in your life. Little things that you learned. There's a reason why I don't think I get along with most cats in this game. And the main reason why is because I don't, I don't see the world their way. I didn't come up that way. You know, there's a reason why when you listen to Rise and Grind, I don't sound like I'm telling you to, to, to get the four C's and seven E's and eight G's to this game. I'm not coming up with no dumb shit like that. You know what I'm saying? This thing is 100% grit and grind. But when I was coming up, I had just enough to feel every day that I wasn't making any movements. You know what I'm saying? Any advancement in this game. But it, it, was, it was a lie. I just couldn't see the bigger picture. So for a lot of you cats, like I said, who email me and tell me this stuff and you're, you're wondering if you're making the right choice and you're looking back on your life and you're trying to find out where you went wrong, you know what I'm saying? It's good to identify where we came from. It's not, it's not going to help us in the future. You need to drop all that stuff. But when I say this just enough mentality, what I really want you to understand is everything, little steps, you know what I'm saying? A baby takes small steps and one day gets up and walks and then another day gets up and runs. This is what the, the thing we're on. This is the path you're on. And you have to have just enough patience and just enough confidence that everything you do is going to turn into something bigger. When I was first got out, when I first, let me tell you the first time I got some significant money. I remember I was sitting there in Jersey City and the first check came. And I don't know if it was for like, I don't know, $4,000. But you know, for a cat like me who never made $2,000, that was big shit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't frame it. You know how most cats get the money and they frame it. I didn't want to frame it because I knew it was more to come. You know what I'm saying? I didn't never want to be that dude who was who who remember when he made a dollar. I wanted to be the dude who make, who remember when I made a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? I don't have pictures of my first dollar bill on the wall. This is what the game. I, I put in a lot of work to get here. I did it. I endured just enough bullshit to to stand in this position. I'm not gonna sit here and celebrate a dollar. I want to celebrate a million. But when I got that money, and then, you know what I'm saying, I was at a state of shock. I don't know if you ever, you know, ever uh, been to a point where you got something. It might not have happened for a lot of you cats since you were little and somebody gave you a present. I remember I was in Philadelphia. And, uh, you know, I'm a Cali kid, so I never seen no damn snow. I seen it on the ground, you know what I'm saying, but I never seen it coming down. So I was sitting there looking out my window one night, and they said it was going to snow. And it was about Christmas or something. And I was looking out the window, and then all of a sudden it started snowing. You know what I'm saying? For a second, I was like in a state of shock because I've never had, I've never seen no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't go out there and do no damn snow angels, like no damn commercials though, but I was sitting there at my window thinking, shit, I've never seen nothing like this. That's exactly how I felt. See, when you get to a point where you're doing, when you start getting into that other part of your life, all that I've done, you know what I'm saying? All the hard times I endured got me to Philadelphia looking out that window right i was out there living my life I, all the all the hardships all the shit that i did got me to to law school where i'm telling the people that i want to get out early 
all the shit that I did got me to Jersey City. All the stuff I endured got me to Jersey City where I could start my business. You know what I'm saying? All that I've done got me to Manhattan and Santa Monica and, and San Francisco and Chicago and Miami and shit that I just did not see at the time. But this was the journey I was on. You know what I'm saying? I went from the dude who was just enough to sit there and survive and break bread and happy with popsicle stick furniture that I got from Ikea and shit to, to the dude who was going down the street in the middle of Manhattan trying to get uh, good furniture, heavy duty furniture, the shit that's made from real wood, not that plywood, not that crumbly wood shit. You know what I'm saying? I had endured just enough for me to, to thrive now. Didn't mean that I didn't have some dark days full of people who hated me, full of people who wanted me to, I don't even know if they wanted to see me fall. Even at this point that I'm talking to you on this podcast, I'm going through another transition. And I have people who, you know, I got an email from a cat, and I don't think he mean it in a bad way, but I got an email from the cat that said to me the other day, you know, Freeman, have you conquered the world yet? Now, if you, you like me, you a cat who grew up like me, saying, is this dude hating on me or is he just trying to joke? So I got to take it in a joking way. But when I read that email, I thought about it and said, you know what, I didn't conquer the world yet, but God damn it, I'm on that road. You know what I'm saying? I'm not out here trying to uh, put on a new suit and look like a shiny shark and shit in this game. I don't announce myself when I walk in the door. You know what I'm saying? I don't have none of that suckerism in my, in my head. I'm trying to get something done. I'm trying to build an empire. But when I saw that email, I, it just brought up all the people I remember in my past who kept telling, oh, you know, Freeman, when, you know, how are you going to get to New York, man? You don't know anybody out there. Our whole family stay out here on the West. You know, oh, Freeman, man, I don't know how you're going to, you know, get to Philadelphia and shit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have good credit. I, shit, I can't rent a car. You know what I'm saying? How am I going to make this shit happen? You know what I'm saying? Oh, Freeman, you know, I'm sleeping on the floor in my partner's house. And he's like, yeah, man, you know, you really willing to do it. You going through it, homie. You don't care what the fuck you got to do. You know what I'm saying? I, I endure just enough. And the thing I'm trying to get you to understand in this podcast, homie, is this. All that you're going through right now. The bad that I know a lot of you guys feel, this desperation, this shit that you don't know is going to work out, you got to hang in there. Because this is this is the road of, of the king shit. This is the road of the empire. None of these dudes who ever made it are going to tell you these stories because they don't even want to remember the hard times. They don't want to remember when they did just enough. They had just enough to eat. You know what I'm saying? When, when cats were bumming off of other people to get something to eat tonight. When you had to be humble, go hat in hand and, and sit down. I, I sat down at that uh, uh, food stamp office, homie. I sat down, you know what I'm saying, at 18 years old. Uh, and the lady was sitting there across from me saying, you know, um, you, you're going to, you know, we need you to, you're going to keep looking for a job and all this. I said, yeah, yes, you know, yes, ma'am. I'm trying to get my shit right, you know. But I had to do what I had to do to survive. And, and these aren't good times for me to bring up because I have to do just enough to survive. And all you want to hear, because you want to, you want me to tell you that, you know, Freeman, but when I get there, it's going to look this way and I'm going to be dancing with, with women in Vegas and shit and tricking on the roulette tables. And you will, homie, if that's what your dream is. If your dream is tricking, homie, I hope you get it. <laughs> I'm not against tricking if you really want to live that life. You know what I'm saying? But you got to understand that a lot of you cats don't have the, the, the foresight to see what's coming up. I try to do my best on the rise and grind. To make you understand that what you're dealing with and what you're going through and everybody who left you homie standing on that corner by yourself and the fact that you go to sleep at night and nobody don't care if you here or not homie it's the same shit i went through and it's the shit that builds men it's not the shit that builds suckers none of those suckers will have those stories when you come and stand next to them they'll be in awe of you. a lot of the people that that used to doubt me you understand what i'm saying i still see them and they all, oh, I knew you were going to make it. And I'm sitting there thinking, bullshit, you didn't think I was going to make it. I remember sitting there with other cats when I was in college or even after college when I was in law school. And people were thinking, you know, what is this motherfucker doing? You know what I'm saying? Why doesn't he just want to be a lawyer? That's where all the money is, Freeman. Why don't you stop and do that? You know, motherfuckers really thinking I'm stupid. And I, you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting out here in the middle of fucking Baltimore, Philadelphia, or New York, all by my goddamn self. I don't got no family on that side. But I had to do just enough to make it, homie. So the thing I'm trying to get through your head, homie, is are you doing just enough? You know, are you doing the minimum? To, to uh, If you're going to do the minimum, homie, it's going to take five years. If you're doing the maximum, it's going to take five months. 
You know what I'm saying? Are you doing all that you can do? You got to sit down some time and, and visualize what you want this world to be, how you want your empire to be built. Because every day we have plenty of time to do more than what we're doing right now. And you have to think and say to yourself, you know what I'm saying, that just enough time to survive and are coming to an end. I wish I could sit down with some of you cats and tell you that one-on-one -on -one, because you don't see it, that you're about to graduate, that you're going to be finished with school soon, and you get to come out here and scramble and run the streets with the rest of us and build something, that you have knowledge, you have all these things, you have endurance, you have stamina, you have all these things that a lot of people never get, the suckers of this world never get, and you have. So that, just a, for the fact that we sat there and we had just enough to survive, is going to be just enough for us, just enough for us to thrive in this game. You got to be ready for this change, homie. You got to anticipate this change, and you got to endure this this pain that you're going through the same way anybody else who's going to go through a radical transformation does. The dude who started lifting weights came home with sore, sore muscles and lactic acid in his muscles. I had that too. The dude who ran far, you know, didn't have enough stamina and almost threw up on the track, right? That everybody who goes, this is the natural way of things. You're not doing anything unnatural. You know what I'm saying? You're doing just enough to make it. And you're enduring just enough to make yourself into something else. This new year came around and you cats got to get ready. You know what I'm saying? You guys got to think a little bit bigger. This is not the time to be sitting there saying, I got two years left. Let me just cruise into the end. You got a chance, an opportunity to change their life. An opportunity to do what most people never get to do. An opportunity to be something they never will be. And you have to embrace that and hold on to that. And you got to think about that as you endure the bullshit. You got to understand the biggest thing out of this whole, whole life that we live is we had just enough not to make it. Now we have just enough to make it. All this knowledge you're gaining, all this endurance you're building, all this stamina, everything that's part of you now is going to change into something else. And one day you'll be able to look back like I do and see that the journey was worth it. But for some of you cats who are in that dark place right now, rewind this podcast. Next time, partner. <laughs>